The present cycle runs its course to begin its ascent upon the next evolutionary spiral. The structure of the material field is showing signs of extreme decay. Individually and collectively we face a deterioration of our social, sexual, political and religious structures and witness the proliferation of environmental degradation, war, famine and genocide across our earth. There is a renewed collective calling to achieve a level and strength of personal transformation that ultimately impacts the global reality, a form of transformation that provides both deliverance from personal suffering and a clear understanding of how changes at the fulcrum point of individual awareness will impact the morphogenetic influence vital to sustainable enlightenment and conscious evolution on a planetary scale. I refer to this evolution as the quickening. Upgrades within the holographic hive mind have indeed been occurring, both collectively and at the level of the individual. The internet was introduced to enhance our neural kinetics, so that we would eventually be able to observe the higher fractal orientation of the next shell of cosmic reality. We are simultaneously approaching the launching point for a symbiotic telepathic society to take form. As we progress into this new eon, the old shell must be shed. This lock and key system works in both theoretical directions. So the more we understand and integrate honest truths about ourselves as individuals, the more we will begin to have a knowing about certain big picture phenomena, such as the pulsating torsion spiral recently seen in Norway, or the pyramid craft circling over the Kremlin in Moscow. Those events are very real, but they are no more mysterious than the intricate geometries found in a snowflake, a grain of sand, the emotional response one experiences when listening to music, and in the infinite complexities of love. So there's no immediate need to look beyond the small amount of data that we actually have a knowing about. However, as we look at these nearby mysteries, the macro schematic begins to take a form that we can finally understand, and we are no longer fearful of it, as we exhaust our curiosity. Neutrality begins to arise, and out of neutrality comes truth. 2010, the chrysalis breaks, the year we make contact. The synchronicities we experience on a daily basis become too profound to overlook as mere coincidence. Sigourney Weaver starred in 1979's Alien, where ETs were portrayed as reptilian acid-spewing demons, personifying our fear of ego death and our immature misconceptions at the time concerning what might be out there in the vastness of space. Thirty years later, the higher octave of how we've begun to view extraterrestrials begins to take form, as Weaver stars in James Cameron's Avatar where human beings are now the antagonists, invading an alien species planet called Pandora. Notice the planet the blue star Native American-like ETs called the Na'vi live on is actually a moon orbiting a planet that looks very much like our own Jupiter, the same planet used to visually accompany the idea of first contact in 2010 A Space Odyssey. They worship the life force of the planet which they call Iwa which is similar phonetically to Crowley's interdimensional contact and alleged author of the Book of the Law, Iwas. The humans invade Pandora to mine for a valuable cosmic resource and continually fail to recognize the value of the planet or its peoples isn't in the ground, but in the flowing nexus of life seen in every fractal tendril of the alien environment. The Na'vi are all born with a long braid of hair that acts as the same kind of neural jack Neo used to access the Matrix. To quote Chris Knowles of The Secret Sun, maybe the Na'vi will turn out to be a post-industrial society who created Iowa as a self-sustaining biological mainframe, which allowed them to finally harmonize with the world they were left stranded on by some race of previous sky people, which some of you might remember is a rough translation of Anunnaki. As units of human biocircuitry, we are the culmination of a variety of life force energy systems. The new frontier of healing lies in the knowledge that these systems are not fully connected. A clue leading us towards the recognition of this knowledge is the presence of thousands of millions of inactive base pair chemicals within the human DNA. The energetic nature of consciousness that fosters all life is integrated by the human heart-body-mind via biocircuitry. The circuitry is the delivery system that integrates this source intelligence, translating this energetic electromagnetic life force into the bioinformational matrix that is the vibratory infrastructure of the human hologram. 
As a result of the genetic modification of our DNA, the human biocomputer is not capable of sustaining its molecular structure in a stage of superconsciousness. The reconnection of circuitry restores the fundamental energy supply intrinsic to the human ability to achieve and sustain cosmic evolution into the new paradigm. This electromagnetic energy is integrated into the body through meridians or circuits to be translated by the chakra centers into bioinformational signals for the endocrine system to utilize. This influx is being created by the maturing influences of a solar system that is itself reaching higher and higher states of cosmic comprehension, transmitting to Earth and its inhabitants ever new spectrums of radiance data, light. Massive beams of this hypercreation code are emanating from the galactic core to sweep their influence through the solar system, activating and integrating the symbiotic evolutionary covenants that lie dormant and waiting in every cell of every living creation for this kiss of life to awaken them to a new model of existence, a new paradigm. The quickening makes itself apparent in all forms of media. Hollywood bombards the populace with film after film laced with cameos from the visitors in order to desensitize the masses to the possibility of ET life existing throughout the cosmos. District 9 creates a base for human ET empathy as we see the visitors corralled in horrid concentration camp conditions in South Africa. The film Surrogate, starring Bruce Willis, highlights the idea of piloting a puppet alien self and losing one's humanity in the process. Avatar finally takes us one step further, showing the symbiotic relationship between all living things, Gaia, the cosmic pulse, and the highest of the high unmoved mover. The combined experiences and star vibrations of the holographic universe and every conscious life form within it, the pure energetic vortex of love. I substare into the nebula far gone where the dust of my bones entangle with the tar of stars. And in my darkest moment, fetal and weeping, the moon tells me a secret, my confidant. As full and bright as I am, this light is not my own. A million light reflections pass over me. Its source is bright and endless. She resuscitates the hopeless. Without her, we are lifeless satellites dreaming dreams. So crucify the ego before it's far too late to leave behind this place so negative and blind and cynical, and you will come to find that we are all one mind. Your body is the physical matrix of your divine intelligence. As omniscient awareness expands through the download of natural divine knowledge via the electromagnetic delivery system of circuitry, your physical matrix alters accordingly. As the acceleration of source intelligence infiltrates the heart-body-mind matrix, the individual's computational capabilities upgrade exponentially to accommodate more and more circuitry, more and more source intelligence, in a circle of spiraling and ever-expanding conscious evolution. The erroneous definition of God is the most malevolent and powerful manipulation of consciousness. This mycelium of deception has been perpetrated in a myriad of ways, including the manipulation of historic recall and the insertion of a false ancestry. This false inheritance has entrenched within the psyche the archetypical duality of the demonic and angelic models, creating conflict on the deepest strata of human behavioral reference and resulting in deep wounds of separation, spiritual abandonment, and betrayal. This creates the Godhead with amnesia syndrome. A yearning develops to have a remembering of the eternal cosmic tapestry or the Akashic records. All things are moving, everything is vibration. Sacred geometry is written numerology. Numerology is computed language. Language is the interrupted music of the spheres. The sacred tones themselves, if unlocked, proceed a full recovery of this memory. A knowing of what you truly are, the stuff of stars. The fractal tendrils of a love undivided. We sprawl out in our forgetfulness, and we converge in our remembering. Just as the known universe expands and contracts like a human heartbeat, you can feel it in every breath. Go with the eternal symphony and paint the portrait of the unified, unfallen existence of all sentient beings everywhere. The quickening is occurring all around us. Now I ask you, do you see?